The greatest potential for damage to aircraft occurs when ground support vehicles and equipment are operating around them while they are parked at the gate during the course of a normal turnaround. While an aircraft is taxing under its own power, it is the responsibility of the aircraft captain to ensure it's manoeuvred safely. When an aircraft arrives in the vicinity of the allocated parking stand, the captain is assisted in the final stages by either a hand marshalling process or an automated gate guidance system. A combination of both may be required where extended taxiing requires hand marshalling prior to final lineup into the parking stand centre line. All staff must be trained and approved before they are permitted to marshal aircraft. Recently, Air New Zealand changed their marshalling standards from those of the International Civil Aviation Organisation, ICAO, to the International Air Transport Association, IATA. This presentation will demonstrate the IATA marshalling standards, reinforce the requirements of consistent, clear marshalling signals, and provide clear guidelines of the marshaller's responsibilities. The ICAO and IATA marshalling standards are very similar. The change was made due to the wider acceptance by other airlines of the IATA standard. The IATA published graphics are much clearer and more descriptive than the ICAO equivalents and some signals are considered superior. When an aircraft is taxiing onto a gate, the marshaller must be clearly identifiable by the flight deck crew. It is not acceptable that aircraft loaders and other airside workers crowd the marshaller, as this may potentially block or confuse marshalling signals. These other workers must remain well clear of the marshaller and behind safety lines until 1. The aircraft is chocked. 2. The engines have been shut down. 3. The anti-collision beacon has been switched off and four, the area is verified safe and the clear to approach signal, thumbs up, has been given by the person in charge of the arrival. It should be noted that this signal could be delayed even though other events appear to indicate that the aircraft is safe to approach. For example, the anti-collision beacon may remain on longer than usual due to hot brakes that only the crew and the person on the headset are aware of which requires additional abnormal procedures to be adopted before anyone can safely approach the aircraft. The person in charge of the arrival will usually be the marshaller or the person who establishes ground to flight deck communication. During its time on the ground, an aircraft will usually be surrounded by specialist servicing equipment and personnel all of which must remain behind marked equipment safety lines until the thumbs up clearance to approach the aircraft is given. If an arrival is to a gate without marked equipment safety lines, all personnel and equipment must remain well clear of the aircraft. This highlights the importance of no clearance, no approach. To reiterate, Marshallers are the only personnel permitted in the vicinity of taxiing aircraft. Marshallers must be clearly identified, day or night, by their coloured high visibility vests. They must be positioned in full view of the flight deck and be present in sufficient time prior to the arrival to ensure the area is clear to accept an aircraft onto the parking stand. There is no FOD present. All required servicing equipment is ready and correctly positioned and loaders and any other airside workers are well clear. At all times, marshalling is to be conducted with the aid of marshalling wands. At night and during periods of poor visibility, the wands must be illuminated. Marshalling bats or hands-free methods are no longer acceptable alternatives. No clearance, no approach. Where more than one marshaller is required for aircraft guidance, for example, manoeuvring within a constricted area, only one marshaller is permitted to give directions to the aircraft 
until such time as the proceed to next marshaller signal is given. If it is necessary to negotiate obstructions, wingtip clearance personnel must be deployed to ensure aircraft safety is not compromised at any time. There are many important functions that take place while an aircraft is on the ground. Marshalling is just one of them. It requires an alert, prepared and confident approach and done effectively will go a long way to ensure the protection and safety of our multi-million dollar aircraft and the persons on board. Until the aircraft has been chocked, the engines shut down, the anti-collision beacon switched off and the area deemed safe by the marshaller or person in charge of an arrival, loaders, other airside workers and all servicing equipment must remain well clear. In summary, the marshaller must be authorised, uses approved wands, wears correct personal protective equipment, ensures the gate is prepared and all ground equipment is correctly positioned. Above all, be professional.